Hey, what's up guys? QB here. Uh, so today in this video, I actually want to talk about the problem when breeders label or brand colors of bearded dragons. I see this a lot where someone sees a red bearded dragon and it says deaf core or it says extreme red or something like that. And red is, I mean, it happens with a lot of colors too. Like you have yellows and oranges and you have reds and all that. But it's so crazy to see that people are labeling and branding those colors when literally other people are producing the same colors and they're not branding it. So yes, by branding it, you do create a following. You do have a chance of selling it for a little bit more. But branding is so silly because you, other people are literally creating the same thing and possibly selling it for cheaper. So you might be shooting yourself in the foot, but who knows? So in this video, I actually show off different red bearded dragons and different yellow bearded dragons and kind of give you an idea of why there's differences and really the branding is like i said is silly and it really doesn't help a person that's buying a bearded dragon because you think of branding and you're like oh it's a sunfire oh it's it's sunshine yellow or something it's really it, like i said it's really silly and it actually confuses people when they're trying to buy bearded dragons there's been several times where i've actually seen bearded dragons that people have just purchased and they're like oh look at this sunshine hypo that i bought or look at this fire red that I have. And I'm like, come on, it's just, it's just a yellow, a hypo yellow. It's just a hypo red or it's just a red or a trans red or something like that. Or, I, I mean, there's so many different things out there. People are calling their, their oranges something and their red something. And there's just so much stuff out there. Um, so that's what I want to focus on in this video. Not to discourage people from branding, but to inform people that are in the market for a bearded dragon or in the market for any reptile that has some branding like that. So, and it's really not to tell you to not buy from those breeders that do brand their colors don't, that don't need to be branded, but it's just to give you an idea of why they do it. And does it really matter? So there've been a breeder around for a very long time and they have been known to notoriously brand their colors and really their colors aren't that great, but I'm not going to say any names. So, their colors aren't that great and they usually sell for a lot more money than they're supposed to be and they edit their pictures as well i have seen people get dragons from these this breeder and eventually they're showing it off to the people and they're like oh look at this dragon it's a fire whatever and they're like that's just a red bearded dragon and you could have literally got that same color from a pet store not condoning that people buy from pet stores because there's a lot of pet stores out there that don't even know how to keep reptiles so they're giving bad information but that's another video. That's another topic. Uh, so I'm not going to say any names of any breeders here. I'm just going to say that there's a lot of people out there that do brand their colors. And some people, they brand it and they actually produce nice stuff. So it doesn't really matter. And then there's other people that brand it and they're producing random stuff that doesn't even make sense. And you're like, what? That doesn't make, that doesn't make sense. So that's just uh, what I want to talk about. So here we have two red females. This is actually... The daughter to this girl right here so you can see how different in color these two are and you were probably wondering how did her daughter come out more red than she did and she is actually from very strong lines of red bearded dragons she just didn't actually retain the red that she was that she showed whenever she was a baby uh versus her daughter she it came from this girl and also an italian red male so this guy was an italian import he was very dark red. I'll actually pop up a picture of him right now. But these two, this that male and this girl here, produced this red female right here. Uh, so it's crazy. I know I obviously didn't brand them. I'm not really caring about the branding part. All I did was said that it's from an Ireland import bloodline. And that's all that you can really say at that point. I'm not going to brand my dragons just because they look nice. So she looks great. One of the best reds that I've produced by far. All of the clutches that she laid were pretty awesome. Um, I didn't have any dragons in that clutch that were orange. All of them were red. And obviously the male being red also helped. But again, I wouldn't brand them because anyone else can produce nice reds. I've had, I've had people tell me that this girl here and similar bearded dragons actually look as if they were going to be red monsters but obviously this is not a red monster this is not going to have that price tag and it still looks very good and 
you won't be disappoint disappointed in owning a dragon that's this color. So this male here is actually a nice red bearded dragon, red orange you could call it. And this female is actually very dull. I mean, it's crazy that she actually produced those red bearded dragons, but she did, and she has continued to produce very nice bearded dragons her whole time that I've had her. And she came from, again, super nice red bloodlines. So this male here came from an orange and red pairing, and he just happened to be a very nice red-orange dragon. He didn't take too much from the dad. He didn't take too much from the mom. He is a super nice red-orange. You could even call this a red citrus. Uh, so the thing about red citrus is that they have usually the yellow feet, and then they'll also have a very yellow belly. And that is an indication of red citrus as well. Uh, the first person to create the red citrus line was Dragon Tails. And it's since been all over the world. But if you see any reds that have the, like the yellow everywhere, that's red citrus. So this was that yellow baby that I showed in a previous video. You can already see how yellow he's gotten. And he's only had one shed. So this guy is going to be super bright. I'll show you his parents here in a second. His dad is a very bright dragon from Carolina Classic Dragons. And his mom is from Here Be Dragons. I've never had issues buying from either of these breeders. Um, I've bought from class Carolina Classics before. Uh, this is my, actually, that mom was the first dragon I ever bought from Here Be. Uh, again, I haven't had any bad experience with them. But this guy here has been outstanding. Just watching him shed and pop out this color was crazy. So this male here is a nice hypo trans leatherback dunner het wiblets that that i've had for a while he actually will be producing a lot of my wiblets this year so this guy here he actually came from an orange wiblets to a pretty mediocre yellow female she wasn't like super bright but she wasn't dull either she you could tell she was yellow she just wasn't like vi vibrant and he still retained a lot of that yellow color he does have some orange coloration on his beard but other than that he is pretty yellow for the most part so he is i would consider him a yellow bearded dragon again i wouldn't brand my bearded dragons but that there are people out there that do that i just think it's silly i could say oh this is going to produce sunshine wiblets or something like that that's silly there's other people that are producing yellow wiblets it's not going to be something new it's not going to be something special. It's going to be nice. Yeah, very nice. But it's something that's already been done. So me by, by me branding it, it's like saying that nobody else has it. That's what I don't like about branding. So this here is my yellow hypo tiger female. So the thing about colors, it's really, it's in the, high, the eye of the person looking at it. Somebody else could look at this and say it's an orange dragon. Someone could say it's a yellow dragon. There's even people out there that whenever these first started coming out with the blues and the oranges and the yellows, they would call them rainbows. It's really, I mean, again, with the branding, I'm not too keen on it. This is just a nice yellow hypo tiger. The tiger comes with the blue barring. Some people would just call it blue bar. Some people call it tiger. Really depends on who you ask. This is a blue bar. This is a tiger. Whatever you want to call it, it is what it is. I just call it what it is. Yellow Hypo Boobar, Yellow Hypo Tiger, either of them work. I'm not going to say that this is going to be a blue tiger. I mean, that's obviously it's not going to work because it's barely blue. I mean, she does have a lot of blue, but nothing crazy like what I've seen out there. There's people out there that have dragons that have blue all down their back there. And yeah, that looks great, but they're not branding. And I've seen several people have those blue uh those blue barrings that they aren't branding it and that's fine that's what i like i like seeing people saying it's just an extreme blue bar or it's a it's a high blue blue bar and bearded dragon something like that nothing branding they're not going to go around saying this is a blue midnight bearded dragon or a blue sunshine bearded dragon or something crazy like that i don't know man there's so many things out there that people are just like whatever they can figure out a name for it they're going to do it just so they have some branding to it just so they can make it sound cool just so they could sell it and that's really not what this community is about this community is about creating something cool and 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 just showing it off it's not about creating a brand 
so you can sell things for higher than they actually are supposed to be sold for that sickens me it sickens me to see people sell their orange dragons that aren't even super nice oranges and they're selling them for four or five hundred dollars just because they're calling them tangerines you know how many orange bearded dragons are out there several they're not called tangerines and several of them are being sold 100 bucks 75 dollars just because that's kind of how bearded dragons are they it just ranges very widely like that and it just kills me that there's some people out there that are just branding their bearded dragons and like like i said previously the branding isn't the issue it's the fact that they're selling it to people that they're not informing that it is just a brand it's not really going to alter the color it's not going to be anything special it's just something that they're calling it as their brand so the branding is not the issue it's the fact that they're not informing people that the branding is just that it's branding it's not anything specific so that's just what happens out there um if you made it this far into the video i appreciate it don't forget to hit like share and subscribe and hit that notification bell so you don't miss anything that i put out in the future peace